As Palestinians begin cleaning up the devastation left by Israel's three-week offensive against Hamas, President Barack Obama sure stepped into the Middle East peace effort on his I first day on the job. The White House says Obama called the leaders of Israel, the Palestinian Authority, Egypt and Jordan on Wednesday morning. As the last of Israel's troops pull out, officials say Obama is committed to working toward a consolidated ceasefire between Israel and Hamas in Gaza. The latest barrage of violence killed 13 Israelis and almost 1,300 Palestinians, half of them civilians. The three-day-old truce is giving Palestinians with foreign passports an opportunity to leave Gaza before fighting has a chance to erupt again. And it's mixed feeling. I'm very happy for me to be out and my kids to be out, out of harm way. But at the same time, I left my life back there. I work for two American-based organizations and I have a nice house. And now I'm going into the unknown. It was very difficult. The suffer was beyond description. And uh, what I feel now, uh, I feel that I need a rest. I need to, to, to forget uh, all what happened. Israel had hoped to stop Hamas rocket attacks on Israelis and smuggling into Gaza. The rocket attacks halted, but it appears the smuggling never stopped. The AP filmed Palestinian smugglers filling a fuel truck with gas. They say it came through a cross-border tunnel from Egypt. Workers have been clearing blocked tunnels while bulldozers carry out other repairs. Israel's foreign minister is now appealing to the international community for help in stopping the smuggling, while Palestinian leaders appeal for humanitarian aid. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.